My name's Anna Eti and I'm a contemporary artist. On my dad's side, I'm from Te Rarawa, but I was raised by my mum, who's a Pākehā lady, and I grew up in Waiharekeke, Blenheim. I work in video, text and sculpture. The work that I make is often about materiality and the materiality of places and how that relates to history and identity. Because I think that when you look at the materials of place, those histories are embedded. Site specificity is important to me because I think it's really important that we know the histories and stories of the land that we're on. My name is Shannon Tiao. I'm an artist, educator, and friend of Anna's. Anna's projects often respond to a specific site or history, in particular um, Māori histories. She uses a site like a historical case study and a way to explore the implications of history and history telling as much as um, I guess the specific geography of a place. I think Anna's work is generous and elegant and um, critical. I think it uh, offers more upon reviewing and um, slow meditation. I'm Martin Bosley, aka Boz, uh, and for 35 years I have been a chef uh, both in Aotearoa and overseas. My philosophy as a chef really is quite simple, it's to eat what is in season, eat what is local, and to eat what is fresh. So my thinking behind the menu really came along after a conversation that I had with, uh, with Anna and when she talked about the food that she loved, which is obviously seafood, and what it meant to her sort of growing up. And I've always taken more joy out of having a piece of fish in the pan than I have a piece of beef or lamb in the pan. It just offers so much more um, opportunities, I think. So then when designing the menu, it was, uh, you know, you can become too chefy with these things and a bit too sort of fine dining. And I really wanted to give the whole menu humble. There was courses that people got themselves, uh, but then when it came to the main courses, it was whānau style, just shared plates on the table, people passing platters of things around, bowls of salad. We do informality really well here, uh, and I think that's probably what is a, like a foundation of who we are as, as, as a people, really. So paired with the dinner with the wines from the Tohu uh, Whenua range, and those wines are really a true reflection, again, of Turanga Waiwai of, of place. My name's Rachel Taulale, and I'm the CEO of Kono, home to Tohu Wines. Tohu Whenua is unique because it's about single vineyard wines. It's about our land practices. It's about our interaction with our soil and our water and our climate. Where we're situated now is in the Awatere Valley and we really have a love affair with the whenua and everything that Papatuanuku, our land, gives to us. So we work with Martin because quite honestly, he is the best chef that I know. He loves what he does. He loves the produce that he works with. He loves the fishermen, the farmers, the orchardists, and it all shows when he brings it together and you can see it on the plate. Anna's work uh, investigates uh, the implications of truth, historical accuracy, subjectivity, and translation. That's interesting as a viewer of her work because often the way she uses texts refer to what's not visible and what's less apparent within a certain history situation or perspective. I'm really interested in queer and feminist practice and when I think about my own work I think about it in dialogue with conversations about indigeneity. I often use text a lot in my work because I am interested in language and that has to do with the fact that I am a language learner, particularly of te reo Māori. And when you go through that process of learning language, it really unveils to you the different values and systems that are active within language. What I really hope to be able to achieve within the next couple of years is to spend more time working on my practice. Um, I think that I am potentially getting towards a time where I could work on my practice almost full time. That's pretty incredible for me.